Could it be that this one ingredient from your pantry could be responsible for lowering your blood sugar, curing your insulin resistance, and fixing your metabolic disease? Or do we need to look just a little bit further and maybe there's more behind the scenes that we don't know? I'm gonna dive into that today, right after this. I've seen a few videos saying that blackstrap molasses will flatten out your glucose patterns and fix your insulin resistance. There have been studies done on this, but the studies weren't on this. Let me explain. You may have seen one of the recent videos from Thomas DeLauer or Ben Azadi talking about blackstrap molasses. I have a bunch of respect for both of those guys. They do great work and they have helped so many people. I am greatly appreciative for that. But there's one critical detail they both missed in the videos. The human studies that they referenced didn't test blackstrap molasses. Those studies use a different ingredient, filtered sugarcane molasses concentrate, a totally different product. I looked online to see if I could find this to buy any to test it myself. I have found none of it. I ran a side-by-side -side comparison of the macros of each one and I'll put that on the screen in just a minute. Here are the claims. Add some molasses to a starchy meal. You're going to see lower glucose, a better insulin response, extra minerals, and antioxidant perks. Sounds great, right? We all want a kitchen staple to be an easy metabolic hack. Cinnamon is much better. There are a lot of studies talking about cinnamon and lowering blood sugar. Definitely something you want to keep in the pantry. But when you read the papers and the actual methods used in them, they weren't taking a spoonful of molasses and dumping it over some oatmeal in the morning. FMC is a filtered aqueous concentrate with most of the sugar removed and the polyphenols concentrated. As you can see in this illustration, there's a big difference between the two. Regular molasses is a byproduct after the sugar is crystallized. It's thick, it's dark, it's still loaded with sugar. FMC takes that molasses and runs it through water extraction and membrane filtration to strip out most of the sugars and concentrate the good stuff, the polyphenols, the minerals, the antioxidants. So in real human meals, not just mouse studies, adding the FMC to a standard breakfast cereal did lower the glucose response. And it lowered insulin in a dose dependent way, like they were saying you may need more of it. The key phrase there is FMC with a meal. A tablespoon of this molasses has 14 to 15 grams of sugar. That's three teaspoons and one spoonful. You're supposed to have one teaspoon in all of your blood circulating your body. Sugar raises blood sugar. The glycemic index of molasses is 55. Know what other food additive has a glycemic index of 55? High fructose corn syrup. Now I'm not comparing the two. This is way healthier because of the minerals, the iron in it, and the fact that it's a whole packaged food and not extracted and chemically processed. I use this in my brown sweetener blend, so I'm not opposed to molasses. But if you're trying to get your blood sugar down, this is not gonna do it. If you wanna try it, do the exact two meals two days in a row. Do the regular meal once, mix a teaspoon of blackstrap molasses in on the other. Take your blood sugar 30 minutes after eating, an hour after eating and an hour and a half after eating and see what happens. I think you'll find it's gonna be way different when you add in the blackstrap molasses. The FMC behaves differently because it's not a syrup anymore. It's an extract where they've taken out a lot of the sugars and the polyphenol content is elevated because it's concentrated down. So when somebody says molasses lowers your blood sugar, the real world translation should be the sugar reduced version of the molasses extract can lower your blood sugar, not the jar you bake with. So what's probably going on with that FMC? From what I've had time to read, the polyphenols seem to slow down carb breakdown, kind of like tapping the brakes on it. It seems to slow down how quickly the glucose actually enters your bloodstream, which is really interesting. But the nuance is that it's just on the FMC, not on the blackstrap molasses. In order to get the same amount of polyphenols and minerals, and iron, as in the FMC, you'd have to eat a lot of the blackstrap molasses. And the more you eat, the more sugar goes into your bloodstream and the more your blood sugar is gonna raise. So don't just take some molasses and pour it over a big old bowl of pasta and expect your blood sugar to be flat. Ain't gonna happen. Now blackstrap molasses does score really high in antioxidants compared to other sweeteners. So that's cool, but antioxidants don't cancel out the 14 or 15 grams of sugar per teaspoon. So if you wanna get the effects these studies are talking about, try to find yourself some of this filtered aqueous molasses extract concentrate. If you can't find it like I haven't been able to find yet, and I'm hoping some of my friends in Australia will chime in because I have heard that a lot's been going on in Australia with this. But here's some easy hacks that you can do that will actually lower your blood sugar and not give you a blood sugar spike. Tablespoon of apple cider vinegar before your meal and a couple throughout the day. Mixed in water, drink with a straw, don't leave the stuff on your teeth. 
Cinnamon, like I talked about in my recent health hacks video. Have a little tea or coffee before and after meals, polyphenols. And if you're gonna have any carbs at all, which I keep mine really low, make sure you have a lot of protein and healthy fat at the same time to slow the glucose curve. And to get your minerals, get them from real food, get them from supplements like Primal Nutrition's Vital Man or Vital Woman, mineral water, magnesium bicarbonate like I talked about in the health hacks video. Don't try to sneak them in through the back door with molasses. Hey, the confusion's honest here. These studies have molasses in the title, but digging into them, it's not the jar. We all miss the fine print sometimes. I did this with sucralose myself thinking it was okay, when in reality, it's a gut health destroyer. So this doesn't mean blackstrap molasses is bad necessarily. Every once in a while, or in a sweetener like my brown sweetener. And it does have some minerals and antioxidants. It's just not the thing that flatten insulin and blood sugar in the trials. So use blackstrap molasses like a dessert ingredient, not a metabolic therapy. If you want metabolic therapy, test find it out that yourself FMC, and let me know. Or use one of those real food metabolic hacks that I just gave you. There's plenty of good things you can do to lower your blood sugar. Number one, not eating sugar. If you're not putting sugar in, the sugar's gonna come out. So I don't recommend this for blood sugar. I have small amounts of it myself at times, but I've fixed my metabolism and a lot of other things. And so occasional use only is fine. Don't dump this on your food for your blood sugar. I hope this helps you. And if you know anybody that would help, please share this video. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. Stay healthy. Use this occasionally only. And I'll see you on the next video.